Hello YouTube, Balbla here with a brand new video review. And I realized something. When I made my video of stuff I got for Christmas, I for some reason forgot one of the most important things. The Hescot. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel and missed last year's explanation, Hescots are very important to me because it started as a tradition that my grandmother on my dad's side would give to me every year. Unfortunately, my grandmother is really sick and in a nursing home. So the tradition was given, it kind of moved on to my parents, uh, my grandparents on my mom's side. But either way, it still means a lot to me that I still get these every year. And these things are collectible pieces of art. These things are really freaking amazing. And I just feel so stupid that I forgot to mention it in my video. And uh, yeah, I still don't have my computer. It's still being fixed and I can't really use my new computer. If you don't get what that is, watch the last video I made. So yeah. Um, this thing is awesome, by the way. So I'm going to put this to the side and talk about the packaging really quick. Although, one thing I like is that every year the bags are printed with the uh, Hescot. Really freaking cool. Uh, the box is very nice. we got a very nice picture, uh, well, kind of drawing of the new Hescot this year. we got it. It's a toy truck and tractor. And we got it on the other side. On the back, we have some basic instructions, batteries and stuff, and what you do. Uh, this does include batteries. The only thing is you have to put the batteries for this guy in, but this guy comes pre-loaded uh, with batteries. On the side, we do have a picture of the back of the truck, which is also the front of the tractor. And then on the other side, we have the front of the truck, and you can't really see the tractor, though. So, yeah, very nice box. like the artwork, and it's very cool. So uh, we'll talk about the truck first, because uh, the tractor is pretty cool, and I apologize if you can hear my dog barking. Uh, it rolls phenomenally well. I love it. I'm actually going to take this off. You can see that these are rubber tires that have, say the word Hess on them, and they also have chrome on them with an H on them. Very freaking cool. Uh, it does have a twist here, so you can actually get realistic turns. And the chrome is very nice. It's not really chrome. I believe this is vac metal plastic, which is a process that I believe is much stronger than traditional chroming, but it is a little more expensive. However, with this, it totally is justified. Here we have, um, you can't actually see into the cockpit. I believe last year you couldn't do that either. <laughs> but just the detailing on this thing is great. Uh, I love all of these little bumps and stuff and lines in there. And the, even the H in the chrome. On this. You even got windshield wipers here. The uh, top here. On the side, the smokestacks are shortened, but that is due to legal issues. I believe people who are fans of Transformers understand that with Optimus Prime. I understand too. Then uh, here, got some really nice detail here. I like that. On the top where the uh, tractor goes, very nice. Really like that detail. I will talk about the ramp in a second. But here we have uh, the Hess 2003, very cool. And that's your identification to which year this one is. And on even with these little flaps here have Hess on them, which is a really nice touch. Uh, these don't have them. Um, that's kind of a nitpick. I wish they kind of did, because when you turn them, you do see these. But I can understand why they can do it. And then, last but not least, the bottom it has some very nice detailing. Got the axis on this and it ends up looking really nice gotta say so detailing on these things are just phenomenal i mean they're amazing uh sound effects on this guy is really cool but i want to talk about the lights first because on the bottom you have your lights you're going to flip this light in the middle and you have it lights up here and here you got these lights here also have them here and here very cool. Gotta say, it ended up looking really good. Uh, the Hess logos, all of them light up really well. They end up looking great. They light up here, here, also on the top, and in the front next to the headlights. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Hey, Poppy. I'm sorry. No, it's cool. This is this is the man who gave me this Hess Scott. All right. So the lights on this thing is really cool. Very glad. Um, 
you can flip it again, and we get the classic flickering lights. The only downside is that these top lights here do not flicker for some reason, but these bottom lights do. Uh, it's still really nice. I really like it. The headlights do flicker on and off. All the Hess logos also don't light up except for the one right here. Very weird. And then you can see on the back headlights. I would turn off the lights, but I can't edit the video, so it would just be a kind of awkward pause for me to go run and uh, turn the lights off. Uh, just kind of flip this back. Very cool. Uh, sound effects for this guy is awesome. So we get this right here. Push this. And we get it backing up. And I'll do that again. It can be stopped by pushing the button again. And it goes on for a certain amount of seconds. Uh, the backlights do light up. And it's basically just backing up. Very cool. Then the middle button. And it's just beeping all the lights in the front, except for the Hess logos, and the lights in the back, including this this Hess logo for some reason, all light up, and it's really cool. This one's kind of my favorite, though. It's a little detail they didn't have to do, but they did, and I love it. And it's just it starting up. All the lights light up, except for the top ones you can see here. And it can be interrupted and goes on for a certain amount of seconds. Uh, on the back, here is the final sound effect, which is the ramp, which can be extended. This sound effect, as you see, go continues to go on until you either fully extend or close the ramp. So I'll show you. So yeah. You don't have to worry about getting the time right, it's all up to you. See? Very cool. So we'll put this guy back and talk about his accessory, the, the uh, tractor. The tractor is a very nice piece of uh, plastic. I really like how they did it. The lights and side effects are actually, uh, well, the lights are hidden much better on this guy, I gotta say. Uh, but detailing on this guy is great. The chrome. On here looks amazing, along with the Hess logo. I love the Hess uh, logo right there, bad boy. See, looks great. Uh, you can lift this up. There are no pistons, unfortunately. I do understand, though. He's doing this guy's gimmick. And, as usual, you push this button here on the side, and he can dump his cargo. So if you have little plastic rocks, that would be good. On the other end, you have his tractor, which, uh, well, his arm, which is fully articulate. It can extend in all directions, so up here and here, here, and up there. Rotates here, a little pivot. The hand here can go up, well down that much, up this much, and can rotate a full 360. So you can do different poses with it, or actual construction. And it all kind of closes together really nice here. I like how they molded that. <laughs> Downside is you can see the screws on this side, uh, but on this side it looks really nice. It looks a lot better. Let's see. Love the chrome on the on the hood. By the way, it looks really nice and all that line detail. Now turn the lights on. It's actually really cool because they hit the button really well. It's this switch right here. Sorry about that. It's this switch right here. I'm actually gonna move the camera in to uh, so you guys can see this. It is this switch right here. So flip this forward. And you get it to light up, and all the all the Hescott logos do light up, except for the one in the back here. But I think they didn't do that because this gets covered up. So you got uh, your red light. Lift this up. You got the light on the side. Although this one doesn't light up, but I kind of get why because it's kind of you know under the arm. The front does light up along with the headlights. Very bright. Uh, top lights up, and on the other side, very cool. Push that back. You don't get flickering lights with this one, unfortunately. But you do get another feature, where this switch right here with the little arrows, by moving it forward or back, we can actually have it move in different directions. For example, moving it forward causes the tractor to move forward. Moving it back causes the tractor to move back. Which is why this thing doesn't roll very well. But the treads on here are really good, very, very good plastic, and uh, they just end up 
doing some really cool stuff. I really like this. Uh, it is strong enough to push the other vehicle, so let's see. Okay, that was kind of a bad demonstration, considering the table likes to roll this way. So let's try it this way, alright. I just gotta make sure to catch it. There we go. So you can see it is strong enough to actually pull the the vehicle in, it is included with, which is pretty cool, actually. I really like that feature. So, uh, yeah, this thing is awesome. I like the motorized gimmick, and I really like the just the look of it. The look is really cool. To store it, you don't actually... Uh, I'll put the lamp down first. <coughs> you don't put it uh, in this way, you actually put it in backwards. Now, it is a little tricky to do, but you can time it, well, set it up so it can go in backwards. And I messed up. Okay, let's try that one more time. Right. Just time that, and we'll set it up right, not time. And Yay! Did it. So yeah, the, um, it doesn't lock into place, and it doesn't have grooves. These screws do kind of help because it kind of keeps it a little stable with friction. And when you have this fully extended down and co collapsed, it does fit in this little groove here. Which uh, does have some line detailing on the inside, which is really nice. Then just bring up this, and there you go. And there's the 2003 Toy Truck and Tractor Hess. And I really like this Hescot. It's a very nice Hescot. I rather enjoy it really much, and I like playing with it. It's a very fun Hescot and very collectible toy. And if you have a kid that um, likes tractors or motorized tractors, this is a good one to get because you get an extra truck, and our oh, kids like truck. Uh, something I do want to mention is that this is not this this is a collectible, not a toy, in my opinion. So do be careful with who you, with what kid you buy this for. Um, my cousin had a couple and they broke, but you just need to learn to take good care of it, and these things will last you a while. They're really good collectibles, tons of fun. I love these things. Definitely worth picking this one up if you enjoy those collectible toys, or you just collect them. It's worth picking up, and I hope you guys enjoyed the review. I'll see you guys later with another review. Till then, adios.